Hello and welcome to a quick guide over the Level 365 web phone. We will be going over making and receiving calls, transferring calls, parking and retrieving a parked call, three-way calling, viewing your voicemails, sending a message, and reviewing your settings. The web phone is a virtual phone that runs through the Google Chrome web browser. To begin, first you need to log into the Level 365 web app at app.level365.com. Once logged in, Go to the Apps section in the top right corner, find Web Phone Client. If this is the first time accessing the Web Phone Client, you should receive an option to select a microphone or a headset. In order to use the Web Phone, you do need to have a valid microphone. From here, just select that microphone from the drop down list. Click Next. Same thing with the audio output. If you have a headset, they both should be the same. You can adjust the volume here. Click Next. Along the left hand side, we have our navigation bar. We have our show menu, it will show all of our options, our dial pad, the call center tab. You will only see this call center tab if you are a call center agent and add it to a queue. Next, the contacts, our call history, voicemail, chat, and SMS. You will only have access to SMS or texting if you are subscribed to that service. Our call parks, answering rules, greetings settings and log out to start let's make a call first click on the dial pad on the left hand side from here you can either search your contact dial an extension or dial a 10 digit number and then press the green dial button from here we see that we are on a call and we have a few different options that we can choose from while on an active call when you are receiving an incoming call you have three options answer ignore or reject Rejecting the call will send the caller directly to your voicemail box. Pressing ignore will mute and hide the call. And answer will actually answer the call and have all the call control options. So let's click answer. Again, we have all of our normal options, mute, hold, or dial pad, three-way call, transferring, parking a call, switching the phone, and hiding the call. To transfer a call, click the transfer button. Here we can either choose from a contact or dial a number. Let's go ahead and choose from our contacts. We'll select Maeve Anderson. Click anywhere on the bottom section here where you see the extension or the call button. This will give you two options, either to blind transfer or an assisted transfer. A blind transfer will send a call directly to the intended party, while the assisted transfer will allow us to talk to the intended party before we push the transfer over to them. We're just going to do a blind transfer for now. After a few seconds, we see that call disappears. That means that the transfer has completed and has been sent over to Maeve Anderson. Here we see that call goes active, so we know that they're actually receiving that call. Now I'll just quickly show you the assisted transfer. Again, click transfer, we'll click dial new number, dial the extension, and then press the call button. We'll click assisted transfer, and then click the complete transfer button. Now that call is being sent off to 102 that we dialed. That allows you to talk to Jane Doe or the person at the extension that you dialed first before completing the transfer. Once you have an active call, you can click the Park Call button. Let's click that now. After clicking the Park button, you'll be greeted with all of your parks. You may have more than two, but two is our default. We see that both 700 and 701 are empty right now. We can either choose to park our active call by clicking the P on either one of these slots manually. Or if you just want the system to choose the first available park button, you can click Dynamic Park. We'll go ahead and show you the Dynamic Park now. After the call has been parked, you can actually see that the little P icon for the park on the left hand side now shows 1. That shows that there is a call parked, so let's click on our call parks. We'll see that our most recent call has been parked here. It shows Park By, which is my account. Now to retrieve this call, we can easily just click the call button. We'll see the call ring to us, and then we click Answer. Now we have retrieved that part call. Next up is three-way calling, or a conference call. To do this, you can add one additional party to an active conversation. Click the Add Call. Again, choose from your contacts or dial a new number. Here, we will dial a new number, and click the Call button. We are now actively talking to the new person that we added to the call. To merge the calls and have that three-way call, click the Merge Calls. Or if we want to swap between them, we click the Swap Calls. Here we're going to merge our calls. 
Now we see it shows three callers, myself, and two other numbers. We'll see it shows conference call. Now we are actively talking to all the callers. To view our voicemails, navigate to the voicemail button on the left hand side here. You will also see a number indicating all of your new voicemails. Let's click on the voicemail tab now. From this voicemail window, you will have access to only your new and saved folders. To access the saved folder, click on the voicemail drop down at the top, and you can select between new or saved. Here we can see each of the voicemails that we currently have. We have the number, time, and how long the voicemail is. And if you have transcription enabled, you will see that transcription listed here. We also have this play button. If we click on the voicemail itself, we'll get a few additional options, such as our callback, our save voicemail, forward voicemail, and delete voicemail. To send a chat or text, click on the chat and SMS button. Here, we can either start a new conversation or continue one that's already existing. Let's go ahead and start a new conversation. Click on New Conversation. Here, we can either select a contact to message, dial a number, and we can also see which number we are texting from if you are assigned to multiple numbers. Simply clicking on the number will show the whole number or expanding the window here. Let's test sending a text message. Here, we'll dial our number, click Add Number to Group, then we can type in our new message. To make any changes to your audio settings or your ringtones for your web phone, simply click on the wrench icon in the bottom left corner. Here we can access our microphone, our audio output, our ringtone, and call waiting tone. Have questions using these services? Contact us via phone or visit our website at support.level365.com.